people that lick it was so good Laughs about it, chillin' with me, drink it with me, oh Loving in my mind, sex in his eyes Laughs about it, chillin' with me, drink it with me, oh showed you what I used to mix inside of it which was pretty much I use hot water cassia I don't really measure anything out um, I use a deep conditioner so that it has that moisturizing effect and then I like to use oils in it as well to give you like that pre pool treatment effect as well and so people say when you mix it with the um, conditioners and the oils that it becomes like a cassia gloss instead of just being a cassia treatment so a cassia treatment um, deals with the protein aspect of it all but then I also have those moisturizing agencies since I'm going to leave this on my hair for a couple of hours. Cassia can be a bit drying the same thing as henna or any protein treatment for that matter so that's why I always mix it with some conditioning agents and so this is what it looks like. I don't like mine to be too too runny but I want it to be so that I can put it on my hair very easily without having to use a whole ton of this. So this is how much I made. I'm most likely not going to use all of this so I am going to freeze the rest that I'm not going to use. That's why I put it in this um, gelato <laughs> um, ice cream jar so that whatever I don't use I will um, 
you know, just use it later, freeze it and use it later. So I always do this deep protein treatment to build my hair to make sure that it's in a very strong state before I actually put heat on my hair. So if you hadn't watched my haul video, you should know that I'm in the process of preparing my hair so that it can be straightened. I never straighten my hair on a whim. It is also always something that I adequately prepare for. I make sure that I do some protein treatments, some moisturizing treatments, and everything to just make sure that my hair is in the optimum health. So I will do a little bit of research on cassia so that I can give you some of the benefits of it. It's similar to henna. It just doesn't deposit color, which is why I've always used cassia. I just am not a fan of the whole henna coloring thing. If I want color, then I'll dye my hair, which is what you saw me do. And um, henna over time, if you choose to dye after using henna, then it can react with some of the dye agents. So that's why I just never used henna in my hair. So what I'm about to do now, this is an old style that I was trying out, but I did not record it. This isn't it though. But I am probably going to do this style after... Um, I finished washing my hair so I am just going to co-wash my hair because I have gel and things on my hair and I want to co-wash it so that it's detangled and everything like that so that when I go on to apply the cassia that I'm able to apply it properly and you know get it down to the root and everything without it being too too bad and so once I finish co-washing my hair I will be back to show you the application process of me using this. Just don't talk me. just a little messy and the cassia does not have any slip whatsoever so that's why I like to detangle and everything first so I'll show you what it looks like and so what I'm going to do now is to try to put it upwards in a ponytail <laughs> because it's such a little amount I'm just gonna try to put it on instead yeah. 
put this head wrap on well actually let me use the black one put this head wrap on so that the shower cap sticks even closer to my head like so and then I also like to put on one of these beanies to keep it even more warm so this is how I am going to wear this on my head. So it is approximately 12.30 now and I babysit at 7. So I'm just going to watch this out once I come from babysitting. So it'll be in for about 9 hours or so. Usually I sleep in it overnight but <laughs> I'm sure the person that I'm sleeping in the bed with would not appreciate smelling this since they already complained when I was making it. So, I'm just going to leave it on for the 9 hours, which is generally, you know, how long people sleep. And then once I'm ready to rinse it out, I'll come back and show you the results of it. But generally, um, as it'll get more difficult as you start to apply it because it'll start drying out. So, that's the main reason why I like to detangle my hair and everything first. But I will be back when it is time to rinse this out of my hair. <laughs> Okay, so this is my hair all rinsed out, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So the treatment will leave your hair a bit dry. So what I ended up doing was rinsing it out until clear. And then I used this um, Hydro Quench <laughs> cleansing conditioner as a co-wash to get out any remnants. And rinse that until it was clear again. So it's all out of my scalp now. And now I am about to deep condition overnight with this new knot treatment so I will be back <laughs> 